All right, fellas, we just unboxed her. I literally just took her outside for like two seconds. Man, this thing drives so beautiful, guys, yo. I've had one where I bought the roller, and then I put it together myself, but I've never had one right out the box itself. You know what I'm saying? Like, bone stocks, my 8S. And let me listen, my uh, XO. My other XO and a bunch of other shit. But, uh, man, this thing's gorgeous. Gorgeous. And you know what I like, guys? I don't know if this, every, like, because I think this is like the V2 one, right? It's the one that Earl got. Like, with the American flag through it, this shit is awesome. And I just noticed this. The Velcro on the side. I'm like, oh, dude, that is insane, bro. That is absolutely insane. God, that thing is just mean, man. Mean. I'm not going to lie, guys. I'm going to be real with you because that's all I know how to do. When it comes to this look, this shit is it's an awesome car, right? But I'm still a bigger fan of the UDR when it comes to originality. Because don't get me wrong, guys. It's like um, it's like um, Kevin Talbot says, dude. It's like we don't have no loyalty towards nobody because none of them pay us to represent them. We do this from the kind of our heart. So I'm not going to be sitting here and, and riding the next man's fucking shit. And going, oh, this guy is way better. Listen, dude, it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? And it's either you're going to like me or you're not going to like me. I've always been like that my whole life. That's why people love me because I'm just raw, dude. I don't I don't sugarcoat shit. I don't got time for it. Um, The design, awesome. The guy's heads that turn in the inside, Traxxas did the same thing. Right? We're doing a little comparison. Um, The only thing that Mojave does got that Traxxas didn't have, I mean, what, what Traxxas had that the Mojave didn't have, what I, which I kind of like, was that double wishbone suspension that came through the back. Killer, killer, killer look. And for performance, was just absolutely insane. I've owned the UDR. And like I said, I've owned a, a UD, I mean, a, a Mojave chassis. And I've built it. But to actually have one out the box, I've never had one. They drive great. Suspension feels amazing. Um, like I said, I'm being truth. Whether it's Traxxas or it's Arm, I'm just giving you my raw opinion. And at the end of the day, um, what I like more is... The UDR, how it jumps in the back over here, but performance there, the, the Mojave is just, is just it. It's crazy. I haven't gave it a full blast yet because, like I said, I just got it. Um, the box is right over there, literally, and I just got my Demon too, and I didn't even got to use my Demon yet. But I was like, you know what, man, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take the Mojave out first. You know, Demon's a little low, so. But I like it, guys. Give me some comments. Let me know what you guys think. Tell me if you guys got the same pattern scheme or don't. Don't matter. Just tell me what you guys think of your model. Um, I see these cool ass SRT wheels that I wanted. They're not SRT, they're SRC. But I think they're just a little wider and big. I don't know how it's gonna look on here. It's gonna give it that wider, bigger look. And I think, you know, the Mojave should just be left in its original stance. Now, as for the Mojave EXB, is it really needed? Is it really needed? Think about it. This thing out the box is just an animal. I'm not hating on the EXB. I love the EXB. Maybe I maybe I might get one in the future. Who knows? But I just love this model. This model is gorgeous, man. And uh, the rails in red, I love them. Even though I just ordered these in carbon fiber for my infraction ball, they, they're different size anyway, so they don't look the same size. But I love it how you can turn the, the, the guy's head around on the inside. Look how sick that is. But yeah, so you, you see... Similar designs when it comes to the Mojave and the UDR. Like I said, I love both of them. And I think the Mojave is just totally awesome. I got the LED light bar for the top that I'm going to put on that I have for another car. And uh, next will be the X-Max. Um, that's the next one that I will be getting that I want bad. And I, I was telling my wife, like, I'm so debating. I'll spend it, but I, I want it, man. I want to get me the one like the, the different color schemes that looks like the autistic uh, for autism because my son's autistic. So it's, it's sort of like the, the autism color flag, which is uh, sort of like this, guys. Not just saying it because I'm saying it. And my son's actually autistic. So autism awareness is the same color as that. That's why I wanted it because I wanted to pin this on my X Max. Also represent my son in the same color. So I love it. Um, maybe soon, you know, as of for right now. Um, yeah, we're going to work on the Mojave and get things going, and I actually love it. I'm thinking of putting the thing, oh, one of these in here, 2200. I don't know you guys see my Coke can TP, but I actually wanted to show you guys this. This just came in today. 
Triple S motor. Uh, 12S. 1000 KV. This thing is absolutely monstrous, dude. So it's the 5610 series. And it's 1000 KV. And guys, it, when I tell you these things ginormous is is ginormous like look at the size of this thing massive massive size it's the 56 i think it's the 56 10 can and it has the vented slots in the back and it also has the slots in the front which you know most motors have but she's just beautiful man thousand kv she's huge 200 and some change but i was with my wife on ebay and we got this one for cheap and the tp as well we got them both at great prices so Guys, I got a couple projects coming for the winter. And I'm even thinking of maybe throwing this 1000 KV motor in my UDR. Um, with a nice little Max 5 and just let her have fun, man. And you know, they stay so cool, these motors. So, yeah, that's what I wanted to show you guys. And uh, my wife bought me a little cool wall charger over here that I'm using. Rechargeable pack. So tired of spending the money. And last thing I'm working on, guys, before I get out of here, is my Vortex. I hit that and ended up busting it, so I just ordered this brand new, all hot racing parts coming. So yeah, rate, comment, subscribe, peace.